Good morning and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Uh, I can show you this quick. We got quite a bit done yesterday. So this has all been uh, box bladed, like north, south, and east, west. So it's pretty broken up. Make it a little easier on the tiller. So here, you can see that it's pretty broken up and quite level. The problem being is I was picking thing, big things up that could have harmed the box blade and the tiller for sure. But now I kind of want to come through and get these littler rocks that still can harm the tiller, but were not as blatantly obvious. The blatantly obvious ones I picked up yesterday or while we've been box blading and I've come up with things like this. Um, we found some cool kind of things too. I can show you this big hunk of glass. I don't know what it's from, it's kind of dirty. Um, I found a horseshoe, just one though, which I found very funny. KK, you gotta watch where you're going. Found a horseshoe. Um, this big rock here was not fun to pull out. Um, we have little pieces of metal here, like this, I don't know what this was about. Um, this is metal. These are all like old pieces of, I don't know. I don't know. We have some flowers on these beans. I'm pretty excited. Um, so yesterday we got some implements. I'll go show you some more stuff we found. But I want to show you these implements since I'm over here by Clarence. So we got tooth bar from Heavy Hitch. This is a gnarly looking, look at this. Look at these gnarly teeth. It's crazy. But it's been doing its job. We actually pulled up a, a root thing. And you've already seen the box blade. It does not look as pretty as it used to though. It has been used. Um, and then the rest from Heavy Hitch. We got a, a draw bar hitch thing, and we're gonna put the discs on it to make 30 inch beds. So that'll be good. That'll be helpful. And then over here, there's still some stuff in George. It's actually a, like a oven door or something too. But we got all of this rock from out there and this big one we had to pull up with the tractor that one was i'm sitting there trying to yank it out i'm like we're gonna have to use the tractor this thing's too heavy so i rolled it into the bucket and then kevin lifted it up came around when he dumped it he was like he could feel the tractor like wobble from it. And then we found all of this while box blading too. So this is, it's kind of windy. We got a storm like just north of us. And I don't know if it's gonna come this way or not. This door, I don't know what it was used for. Kind of looks to me like it was an oven door or a cast iron door, but we found that. And then yesterday, so that was two days ago. And then yesterday, Kevin found another piece over here. FedEx guy. Everybody 
pretty waves around here, but I don't know if I want to wave to everybody, you know? Like, and I wave to the, the sheriff, deputy, sheriff, sergeant. I think his name is Clay. I waved to him and he like, does not like that. Rut row. This is the knob to the protector for the front drive shaft or something, Big K called it. And now I have the knob that tightens it to keep it on. See, this is the kind of stuff that we're finding buried. Which is no good. This coming in contact with Clarence's tire puts us in a situation with George. What is the matter here? Yesterday, Kevin dug up a golf ball and I grabbed it and KK went batty, wanted the golf ball so bad, so I threw it. And then because it's a little Bentley sized ball, Bentley wanted it and they literally fought over a golf ball. It was ridiculous. If you wanna see it, it's a short that I made, a short video. It's on YouTube so you can look at it. But yeah, it was ridiculous. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go see if that whole, cause it's kinda, I don't know what it's called, but it's that clamp. He's struggling with where everything is located. So, there's, it's that clamp that you put on like um dryer hose to keep it connected. But this had that little like finger tightening clamp and not a screwdriver. So, so here's the other piece. I'll put you down, maybe. And this is the other part. Looks like it's another door, I don't know. But this is what we're finding, which would completely mess up a tiller. So that's what we're working with. So I'm gonna come out here. I got a birthday gift that I'm gonna use. More barbed wire. Just every time, like when we were out here yesterday, I would have told you that I picked everything up. And now that we come out today, although we have birds that kind of come through here and change the scenery a little bit, so more just pieces of metal. So I got a birthday gift that I'm going to use for this because I'm not using George until I change the oil. Seems like the more logical thing to do. Um, so what I'm going to do is use a birthday gift I got from Big K. Check this out. This is pretty cool. So what I have is what they call a Rue apron. So it's got a pretty sophisticated back here. Now what you do, and a clip where you can tighten it. So what you do is you put it on like this with this clip down here and the strap like that. But then, check this out. I wonder if I can get this low enough you can see. So there's these, this black part has pockets in it. There's two on this side. This is pretty cool. And then inside here, it's black and kind of tougher fabric. But then this part, it's just a giant like kangaroo pouch. So then what happens is you can fill this with 
you're probably supposed to fill it with vegetables, fruit, stuff that you're picking and, you know. But then you can take these strings here that are in these clips and you can pull those out and you can drop it and it's got a hole. So all that stuff will just drop out onto your kitchen table or into a basket or into your sink or whatever. So I think I need to adjust tightness and get this figured out here because this is cool. This will make picking rocks a lot easier. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I don't know if it's going to rain or not. It actually looks like it's looking a little better. I'd have to look at the radar and see what it says, but I don't know. FedEx guy leave us a package? He did. I bet you this is a... It is. Big K is gonna be happy. So this, what we got, is a rhino hide canopy. So this will be put on the top of the tractor and it'll block the sun. So that's cool. That's awesome. Made in America, which is great. Um, I really try to only buy things that are made in America. So this is cool. Um, there are updates and stuff, little updates on Instagram. You can go on Instagram and follow me at Flannel Hill Farm if you want to see those. Um, otherwise, I may have an update for you tonight if it doesn't rain and we can get out here and till. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. If you wouldn't mind on your way back down the hill liking sharing subscribing hitting that little bell notification thing so that you are notified when i make a new video and if you could send a beagle back that'd be great not the normal size beagle that's somebody up the streets beagle but the big bulky meaty bodybuilding looking beagle if you could send him back that'd be great i appreciate it you guys rock